Hello everyone. Like many of you, I fly regularly. However, I also have a disability called a non-Tourette's tic disorder. Most of the time, it's not noticeable, but sometimes it causes me to have muscle spasms that can be bad enough to prevent my breathing, or sometimes make me unable to speak. When I'm mute, I communicate with American Sign Language, uh, mouthing, or just writing on paper. It's really not that big of a deal when people cooperate. I also always carry with me medical liquids, namely juice, uh, that help prevent or alleviate episodes. The TSA's official policy supports this. Unfortunately, their de facto policy is to discriminate against passengers with disabilities like myself. Earlier this month, I tried to go through San Francisco airport carrying two bottles of aloe juice. The most senior TSA officials in the airport refused to let me travel with them, even though they acknowledged that the TSA's official policy says that juice is a medical liquid, medical liquids are permitted in any amount, and passengers are not required to provide any kind of information about their medical issues. And by the way, doctors don't give prescriptions for juice. They just say, you should probably make sure to have it on you. And this is only the most recent in a long series of cases where I've been harassed for trying to bring medical liquids, even though I fully comply with TSA policy. This time, though, I got it on video, and the link's in this description. In January, I went through TSA while mute. I tried to communicate with them using ASL and mouthing. My bags were screened, and I got an uneventful pat-down. However, two supervisors then took me aside and started searching through my bags, probably in retaliation either for my opting out or for the fact that I was using ASL. Now, I'm sure you've seen cases where something comes up on x-ray and they look in that specific bag for some specific thing, they take it out, they say, oh, it's just cheese, they rescan it, and you go on your way. That's not what happened here. Instead, they were reading through my documents, books, confidential business materials, medical records, ID, prescription bottles, etc. They refused to cooperate with my attempts to communicate, and they refused to give me access to my paper so that I could write. Eventually, I did get access to paper, and I used it to protest the illegality of their search. The courts have long said that the TSA is not allowed to search documents or anything of the sort only weapons or explosives, and my bags had already been cleared. In retaliation for my objection, uh, in retaliation for my objecting to the illegality of their search, they took away my paper, literally depriving me of the ability to speak. I filed formal grievances in both incidents to the TSA and several other agencies, but so far the TSA is illegally refusing to comply with administrative grievance procedure, so it looks like I'm going to have to sue them. So if you know any good lawyers admitted to California, Massachusetts, or federal practice who know the ADA, Rehabilitation Act, 1983, or Bivens Actions, or FOIA, please contact me. These incidents have also inspired me to do something of public interest. Right now, the TSA has a lot of secret law, so I filed a FOIA request for all of their policy and procedures documents. I think that you have a right to know what they're doing and why. If you agree, there's a link in the description to a simple three-question survey that would really help me get it done. I'm also hoping to change the TSA's policy. Right now, the TSA's recommended but not required stance encourages agents to violate travelers' rights by forcing them to disclose their disability and encouraging someone with no medical training to decide whether something is medically necessary or not. Instead, I think the TSA's policies on liquids should be very simple. If it's over one quart, it gets tested. The end. They have dedicated machines for doing this called liquid container screening devices, but they simply refuse to do it. If you agree with me, please contact your senator or representative and ask them to support this change in policy. There is a link in the description for how to contact your rep. If you'd like to know more, please see sizei.com slash TSA. And of course, please share. Thanks.